perfect cuticle application is absolutely necessary in order to have acrylic nails that are gonna last and have your clientele coming back for more. We're gonna take you through the steps on exactly how to execute this the right way, right now on Nail School. Cuticle application, bro. <laughs> how do we get perfect cuticle application? Talk to us. It's all about touch. And what I mean by that is too many beginners, what they do is they have too much of a heavy hand and they either press it too hard or pull away from the cuticle area. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys what is wrong and then I'm going to demonstrate uh, what goes through my mind and how I am able to achieve perfect cuticle application with the right touch. Check it out. It's really uh, important to achieve perfect cuticle application because you, again, don't want lifting. And that is the reason why. If you have great cuticle application, you're going to be able to apply the cuticle area in the least amount of steps. The least amount of steps means the least amount of filing. The least amount of filing means less disruption to the nail, which in turn is going to guarantee that you're not going to have uh, any lifting. So let me show you guys what I do to achieve great results. Okay, so first of all, I want you guys to see my brush, right? You can see how it's pinched. I have a crimp in my brush. When you dip it inside your dampened dish, what's gonna end up happening is you're gonna end up flattening out the tip just like this, right? And when you get a flat tip, you can see if I turn to the side profile how sharp it's going to be. This is top, side profile. When you're setting it down to the cuticle area, right? That flat tip is going to act as a barrier between the pearl and the skin that surrounds the whole cuticle area. So when you set it down, you're literally contouring the brush as you're moving around. Now, the easiest way to achieve perfection is you have to allow the product to basically flow. It has to self-level, it has to run, it has to run into place. And you're not going to get great results if it's dry. If it's wet, when you set it down, all you're going to do is literally touch the product as you're working around the cuticle area. And then as it gets down to literally this point right here, and this point, this is where you're going to feather it through. So it's literally touch, 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 feather, touch, 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 feather, or literally touch, 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 feather, 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 feather. Depending on uh, whether you're doing a fill, whether you're doing a full set, whether you're doing an overlay, let me demonstrate to you guys how I accomplish great results by again working with the right consistency. I have a dappin dish full of liquid and I have my powder. I'm going to be using Cover Peach. Uh, one of the things I want to be able to show you is when I submerse my brush and I get the right pearl, you notice that I turn my brush over like this so that it doesn't fall down you'll notice that I have it on one side of my brush. If I turn my brush over, as you can see, I basically have it nice and clear. One side, one side. That way, when I send it down to the cuticle area, it's gonna release from my brush. Now, this is too dry of a consistency. I'm gonna show you on her fingernail exactly what I'm talking about. First thing I wanna show you is what not to do. You do not wanna pick up the product Okay, and then do this. Literally take it and press it. You see how I'm doing this? So what ends up happening if, if you do it like this is you build a donut. And if I'm holding, again, the finger like this, everything runs into the skin and then you end up having an absolute mess to work with. So let me take this off and show you what I want you to do that's going to make it really, really easy. So what I'm going to do is I need to get a consistency that's going to flow so that when I pick up a pearl and I turn it over, I want the finger pointed down so that when I set it to the cuticle area, I have a little bit of space. Notice what I do is I set it down, immediately the tip of the brush gets behind and I press and I press and I press and as soon as I get down to the corner, I'm gonna basically pull it. Press, 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 press all the way down to the side and then pull forward. But you'll notice like how tight my cuticle is. 
even though I have all this excess, I can get this product to run down. All I'm focusing on is the cuticle area. If you're looking at the side profile, you can see how tight it's going to be around this area right here, from this corner, right, to this corner. You want it as tight as you possibly can. Let me show you guys one more time, and I'm going to kind of walk you through. I'm not forcing the product, right, from super far back. I'm lightly pressing it down on top so that when it gets close, I release. Close, I release. Close, I release. So you'll notice from here is when I set it down, right, when I set it down to this point, I set it down with a little bit of space so that when I lightly press it and the product gets tight, release. Tight, release. I'm it's almost like I'm using a very light pressing motion as I'm walking around the cuticle area. Let me go ahead and show you one more time. So one of the things you're going to notice from that angle is the position of my brush. You notice the finger is pointed down. My brush is not going to be flat like this. When I am talking about pressing with the tip of my brush, notice the tip of my brush, the angle of my brush is literally at a 45 to 50 degree angle right as i'm walking around a lot of students when they start they start off too flat or they start off way too vertical so what i'm going to do is you're going to notice that when i pick up a pearl and i have the right consistency and i go ahead and set it down right here immediately i'm going to get at that angle you see that angle that angle and look at this i'm pressing I'm pressing and it's contouring all the way around. Contour, contour, contour. But take a look at how tight it is right here, all right? Because of the angle of my brush as I'm working around. Once you're finished pressing it into perfection, you don't need to mess with it. What you can do is you could use the body of the brush and work the excess of the product down through here. You can already see that it's at the right angle, not just in this position, all the way around the side. This video is really going to help you because what you're gonna be able to do now is reference some of the videos where you watch me work right in larger pearls. And I use the same technique when I'm working around the cuticle area. It doesn't matter if I'm working with a small one or a large one. I set it down, I have the right angle, I make sure that I'm lightly pressing it around. Again, I'm not pressing it too hard or pushing it and feathering out excess too close to the skin. It's a light touch all the way around. Once you're done touching it into perfection, you can worry about focusing on getting the rest of it down through the body to create the perfect cuticle area.